Hello everyone. In this session, we will see how to configure benefits. Some example benefits are medical benefits, car allowance, fringe benefits. We need to configure these benefits in configure screen. And next step is we need to set the defaults in compensation planning card. Some benefits are applicable to all jobs and all union codes like medical benefits. All employees get medical benefits. Some benefits like car allowance are applied to only certain jobs like sales managers or any other senior roles. Some of these benefits are taxable like bonus, vacation pay, car allowance and some of the benefits are non-taxable like medical benefits, health insurance, disability insurance etc. In the application, benefits, additional earnings and taxes are added in component dimension. Let's select component dimension. Under that, benefits. Under benefit member, add medical benefits, bonus, car allowance etc. For additional earnings, you can add overtime and for taxes at the moment i have added social security tax we can export this component dimension and we can add these benefits let's say i will add car allowances benefit so i'm going to add car allowances member under benefits now in navigator button click application overview dimensions and click import Create for component dimension, click browse and select the Excel file and click validate and import. Import metadata job completed successfully and click jobs. Import metadata job is completed now. Click dimensions, select component dimension. Now under benefits, new member car allowances is added. Refresh database. Now we will see how to configure medical benefits. Click navigator, click configure. Under workforce, select benefits and taxes. Now you see medical benefits and car allowances. These are the members in component dimension. Select medical benefits. Here is a component type. You can uh, select a simple component. Based on this, these options will change. For this medical benefit, I want to give a flat amount. For example, $9,000 at a year total level. That means at month level, employee will get $750 as a medical benefit. I'm selecting rate table and financial account option. This means under workforce medical benefit value will be mapped to an account medical or any other account in your company. You can map this so that when we push the medical benefits from workforce that value will be copied to medical account in financials. On the right hand side, payment terms, you can select monthly or quarterly, semi-annually or annually based on your requirement and uh, value type. You can either do flat amount or you can do percentage of salary, percentage of overall earnings and taxable component. If it is taxable, select yes. Medical benefit is a non-taxable, so I am selecting no. Click next you see an option called medical option. So what is this option? How to set up these options? Let me close this screen now and close again. Now we need to set up options and tiers for benefits and taxes. By default, there is one option called no option and the property is time balance. For my requirement, I want to give a medical benefit of 9000 USD at year total and I want to distribute this 9000 equally for all 12 months. That means each month gets 750. 
So I need to add an option with flow as the time balance property and currency as the data type. Now click actions and add. Add an option, medical option, select flow and select currency as the data type. Click save. I have added an option for the benefit. Let's go back to the benefits and taxes section. Click medical benefits. Select rate table and value type is flat amount. Click next. Now medical option appears here. Under rate at year total level enter 9000. Click next. Now this 9000 is distributed equally for all months. Click save. So now we have configured the medical benefit. The next the next step is in the home page click workforce compensation planning. We need to set defaults. We have already seen how to set up salary defaults. Now we need to set up defaults for benefits. Right click on the empty space here. Click add benefit default. Select appropriate benefit from the drop down. If you want to set this for all jobs, select OWP all jobs, click OK and select the union code. I want to set it for UC001, click OK and the option is medical option, click launch. That means all jobs and union code 1 will get this medical benefits that is $750 in each month in this entity. Click save. Now we have configured the medical benefit and we have set the benefit defaults to the jobs. Now because we have configured the benefit and set the default, run two rules in the home page. Click rules. Select workforce planning cube and run the rules synchronize defaults and synchronize definition. Select appropriate scenario, version, entity and select total jobs, total employees and all cost centers. Click launch. Synchronize defaults rule ran successfully. Now run synchronize definition and synchronize definition rule ran successfully. Click OK. In this session we have seen how to configure benefits and how to set defaults for benefits. We also ran synchronized rules after adding the benefits. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in next session.